What's up everyone? This is IQ Wrestling. I was watching Blood Stain Lane's awesome uh, America Meets video about Katsunori Kakuna the other day. Uh, and it really inspired me to do something uh, in a similar style to that. And just talk about one fighter. And that one fighter just happens to be Katsunori Kakuna's opponent at the upcoming Dream Fight for Japan show. Um, I'm talking, of course, about the Boots, the Burns, the Dice Man, Dice K Nakamura. Uh, if you haven't seen a lot of Dice K's fights, I cannot recommend him highly enough. Uh, he just, it's amazing to watch him go to work. He, he's a relentless um, grappler, but not in any sort of uh, traditional sense. It's like non-stop submission attempts. Uh, you go for an armbar and he doesn't get it and he ends up upside down on top of his head doing a handstand and he'll find something to try and submit you with from that position. Uh, it's just amazing how many submissions uh, he goes for in a fight. And he has, uh, of course, fighting out of Kiyoshi Tamura's UFAL camp gym. Uh, he has that real Japanese pro wrestler uh, and catch wrestling mentality. Um, there are all those old school uh, Japanese guys who came from pro wrestling in the MMA had where it's not so much about the wins and losses, it's about putting on a great fight for the fans and Daisuke almost always uh, does that, put on a great, great fight. Uh, you know, he's got by far the best armbar in all of MMA, I mean, he's got four or five flying armbar uh, victories on his record, which is, needless to say, incredible that he has that many wins by flying armbar. And uh, he also has, uh, at lightweight, he also has great head movement and a really, really long jab. Uh, it would have to be close to one of the longest jabs out there uh, at the lightweight, sort of like a, uh, when I'd call it like um, a Nate Diaz sort of style, where he just uses his really, really long reach uh, at lightweight. His record here is not the best on paper, but as I said, uh, he has that pro wrestling mentality where it's about putting on a great fight and he also spent a lot of time uh, fighting at welterweight um, you know which is pretty ridiculous because he is an absolutely tiny welterweight um, but that seems to be something that lots and lots of Japanese fighters do fight above uh, where they should be but now he's fighting down at lightweight and uh, he looks really, really impressive at lightweight. Uh, he's won his last three fights in a row. And uh, his fights with uh, Borgdan Krista uh, in the M1 Challenge. And uh, Hideo Tokoro um, from Dynamite uh, a year or two ago. A couple of years ago. I can't remember the date on that one. Uh, just incredible fights, uh, comparable to uh, Sakuraba versus Carlos Newton in Pride, uh, one of the greatest grappling matches uh, MMA has ever had. He's just he's an incredibly fun fighter to watch, and I just wanted to do this short video. Um, in hopes that some fans would get into him uh, and support the Dice Man. 
Um, the best way I've heard him described was by my boy Donna, I mean, over at Team Takeover when he described uh, the Dice Man as Sakuraba on Crystal Meth. And that's that sounds exactly like Harry fights. He he's like Sakuraba, who who doesn't give a damn. You know uh, what position you have against him. Uh, you know uh, how disadvantaged he is. He's gonna try and submit your ass. Uh, and it's just so much fun to watch. I really hope some people YouTube his fights and, and really get into the dice, man. And, yep, I think that's about it. See you next time.